and welcome to AMB Bronze 23 part 4 I've been crafting experience farm set off camera between episodes um, it's not quite complete but it's almost there I have run out of Mark of Titans for now so I can't finish the set just until we have uh, enough to craft some shoulders and some gloves so I'm using the two that I uh, used in earlier in part of the initial get to troll 60 set um, but running through what we do have we've got a regalia helm with haste experience vitality ability rate I came out with a socket so I've dropped in a trillion ruby to give us some extra power um, and I've also enchanted it with fire damage so I'm looking to boost my death from above and shatters uh, in the experience farming the necklace we saw you saw me craft that uh, power haste experience vitality uh, the regalia pads came from an ephemeral cube so haste ability rate experience I'll probably add power when I come to craft that um, proper piece later uh, the robe haste experience vitality ability rate uh, an integralis mantle haste experience vitality ability rate the fire lily haste experience and fire damage and frost damage so the frost damage is there for the boss fight part of trials it's not going to be doing anything really um, until we get to them and then we're going to need thermal shocks so the frost damage will boost that significantly a talisman of power haste experience fire damage frost damage uh, the arm guards were a they came out of the set item from the daily login rewards from Saturday so uh, I didn't select these stats experience extra gold deflect rating ability rate at least we've got a few useful ones on there um, bracer of mastery so haste experience fire damage frost damage 190% um, bonus to death from above not bad bonus there um, the pants haste experience movement speed ability rate and I have enchanted them with movement speed boots haste experience movement speed ability rate also enchanted with movement speed the rings have got haste experience ability rate vitality uh, haste experience vitality and ability rate got a level 75 igneous I like to farm experience or do the experience farming in AMB events with around level 75 74 weapons so 75 is good uh, haste experience vitality ability rate I want to put a slayer enchantment on there but that is I think 12 marker titans uh, we haven't got any at the moment so I can't do that and a level 75 glacies tempestus haste experience ability rate vitality um, on the abilities frost bolt is at level 9 fireball we can take that out we'll put in arc lightning arc lightning is at level 9 both of those abilities are on their way to level 10 at the moment so arc lightning is going to let us do 5% more damage for 18 seconds um, but it will stack five times so we can get 25% more damage by using that so it's an improvement over fireball now immolate and frost nova are at level five death from above at level eight and finishing up with endurance fleet footed and power infusion which are all at level seven at the moment so in terms of stats at the moment 
we're just going to build power so you'll have noticed that I didn't put any power whatsoever in the build once we're around champion level 1400 then adding any extra power isn't really doing much for us it would be the map composition more important at that stage uh, so I didn't want to waste power stats on experience farming gear now, on the defensive side we've got life and armor are both filled life on hit is on its way and then we'll finish up with life regeneration for on the last set on there um, I've reset the champion point allocation for experience farming so I did have uh, extra gold filled up for the gold farm I've reallocated those to experience so filled up experience and then ability rate is filling up I'll go with movement speed once ability rate is done and then finish up with extra gold in terms of the overall look so we've got one two three eight power at the moment but that's only going to get stronger Haste at 5.4 hits per second, that'll improve a little further once I've crafted the shoulders and gloves. You can ignore crit rating and crit damage because we're on a 5 lily build. Then we have 77.4% bonus fire damage and 71.3% bonus frost damage. These are our main two damage types overwhelmingly it will be fire damage coming in at about 93 94% of our damage will be fire based but that frost is going to be very important when we do boss fights in experience farming a lot of vitality um, and armors right where I normally have it so that's good that's more than enough to run at troll 100 to 105 I'll be farming at troll 102 uh, life on hit is filling up from champion levels ability rate 1709 there's another 180 ish to come from um, the champion levels and our base experience gained is 1170 so I guess I need to equip let's use an hour's worth of um, experience and currency boosters so currency boosters in trolls for gemstones which I need because I'm also working on a push set so and um, there will be some gemstones needed for enchantments uh, for the rings and necklace we'll worry about push once I've got that crafted um, so that gives us now 3511% experience which is pretty handy um, so we are still quite low champion level 356 um, troll 60 was quite a slow run but we've got 67 unlocked this should go much faster than we did at 60 purely because we now have a full set of elemental lords regalia gear Um, that looks like enough pulled for now. Wow. <laughs> Shatter blew them away before death from above could do anything. <laughs> so Shatter is fire based abilities wow <laughs> and there goes a the broken dragon so 50 seconds compared to almost two minutes from last time out uh, so we get a gemstone selection and a rare 
custom rare jewellery cube that will be taken over to the main account to be used on something later uh, drops start getting better the higher trials we run with better drops we get more marker titans more greater essences and those are the things that we will be most in need of I'll just throw those in there for now worry about sorting them later and what do we get 31 champion levels so our power keeps improving life on hit and ability rates up to there um, I might put some power into here once I've got the uh, radiant gemstones all sorted for the uh, push jewellery even though it's not really going to be adding a great deal to the build so I might throw in some additional ability rate we'll see how things are looking as we go along so we are getting some use from thermal shock there that did kill that group uh, let's group them up so we are very low level still we've got an awful lot of toughness for where we are at this stage Right, will be enough to pull them out once I group them up and hit them there. So, Talisman of Power is active, so you just see the dragon melts. <laughs> um, one minute five seconds, we're only champion level 438, so I think I will hang around hang around here for a little while we'll do one more run on that one we're almost done on ability rate let's see where that gets us to 1821 so it's more than enough That's got a chance for marker titans and so as that set items uh, where you get marker titans when you salvage. Um, so sticking with 82, we don't want to go too high too soon. Make the most effective use of the experience booster. circle and group this lot up and then death from above can do its magic for us if we do end up ridiculously under one minute then I will move up to move up another five levels but uh, I don't think we're going to be way under I was rather hoping that that first shatter was going to deal with this dragon but there we go 105 again and a three hour book of learning legendary drop we like legendaries better than we do epics um, 28 41 champion levels so still a very healthy amount being gained We've filled up ability right now so movement speed we'll get around the map a bit quicker I do still have a lot of books sat here 
once I've got enough to instantly level Arc Lightning and Frostbolt to level 10 I shall use those books and then get uh, Death From Above and Frostbeam up to level 10 which hopefully once we're running around trial 102 shouldn't take too long if we can do f nice fast clears big blob of damage from the thermal shock and we're done very consistent 65 seconds um, don't need to see me constantly running those especially if that's what the clear time is going to be um, but that's what I'll be doing until those clear times drop below a minute quite consistently and then it will be move up to the next level I'm not even sure what level we were running there 82 so 87 will be my next step up but uh, I will record that so you can see the jump up in difficulty if it can be said to be more difficult so I'll okay, see you again shortly and welcome back so I'm up to champion level 828 which means that uh, everything is going into power now everything else is filled up um, I've only been running troll 82 uh, the drops aren't really that good so I do want to push on a bit higher plus we need to get some better books of learning um, I was planning in jumping up to trial 87 but I'm thinking let's take a look at 92 um, in been able to do some very fast runs of trial 82 if this leaderboard loads so 41 seconds has been the fastest so far um, but I'm getting plenty of champion levels from there but it would be nice to get some better drops and a chance of better books of learning um, although that will be at our final point of trial 102 where we'll get more three hour books um, there's elites there so we'll pull them in I don't really like the look of this map. Ah, it carries on back round to... Oh no, it's a dead end there. We've used up 30 seconds, let's abandon. It's a horrible looking map. We'll go again. If you're wondering why am I doing... 92 rather than 90 uh, it's because with death from above if we've got a fight on the boss fight uh, if it's going to take a little while then Kara spawning in her minions they'll soak up some of the damage that we want to put on Kara so by going with the broken dragon we can put all of the damage onto the boss without the worry of summoned extras doing a bit of meat shield work for them 
this isn't looking particularly good either um, there is a book there we'll pick that up let's see how many enemies are in this area so that has slowed us down considerably here's the problem with fighting in caves This is far too long for what we're going to have gained in terms of champion levels, I think. Um, what did we get? I don't know if I had allocated all of those from earlier, so... And, sorry about running away very quickly just then. Uh, the house poltergeist decided to shatter a glass in the bathroom so as a mid-sentence I doubt if it got picked up on the microphone here but all I heard was glass shattering everywhere so I had to go and clear that up um, yeah that was a bad map that last run so let's just see what we get here I need to see how many champion levels we actually gain. Now we've got a fairly good map here so far. This is where I say that map composition is most important for a fast clear time. Get a good map and then play it well and you get a really good clear time get a bad map and play it badly you have a terrible clear time um, we are slowing down a bit here but that will be enough to draw out the dragon I'm going to stack combust actually I don't need to we had slayer up that time So we've got enough there to kill the dragon so 1 minute 11 that's not too bad and 19 champion levels so it's about five more than I was getting um, yes so I guess that's where I shall be farming now for a bit until we've got a bit more power from the champion levels um, I can probably go ahead and craft the gloves that we're missing so I think haste experience ability rate and extra gold go ahead and do that cloth set elemental lords regalia so haste experience ability rate I mean I could put in power but it'll be pointless uh, or extra gold but we've got a gold farming set <laughs> power one power stat in the build this could be a 74 yep uh, oh nice perfect stat for that um, so that can now be sold be actually it can be salvaged can't it it came from a chest because this is the experience farm set we've reached troll 90 so we've got a celestial transform got some currency boosters I shall put the currency boosters into storage the celestial transform I already know what I'm using that on I wanted to take back to the main account a push fire lily level 77 it's already crafted there we go so I can use that straight away 
Um, ah, yes. So Slayer has been added now to the um, weapon, which helps with our clear times. So I am going to be farming Troll 92 for 10, 20 minutes somewhere around there and then see where we are at the end of that so i shall see you again shortly and welcome back um a day has passed since the last clip ended um i've almost used up that first hour's worth of experience and currency booster so i'm going to use one more for now um, and once that's done hopefully we'll be in a position where we can move up to higher trials uh, the experience farm set is complete and on the abilities front we have frostbolt and arc lightning at level 10 death from above and frost beam are at level 9 and I've got those on their way up to level 10 I took out endurance we had so much toughness we didn't need it and put in glass cannon to improve our damage and then fleet footed and power infusion making up the rest of the passives um, I guess we'll just run a couple more troll 92s these are going to be the first of the day so they might not be particularly brilliant for now but uh, should should be averaging just under a minute once I'm more into the swing of playing today. Um, there's quite a lot of elites around here, that's a nice starting area. Pull in a nice large group and get rid of those and that's enough to pull out the dragon. So I've left those combust stacks on, we'll stack up a few more, we had Slayer active so Yes, I'm happy with that. 53 seconds to start the day. Um, I am just going to carry on running Troll 90. That got us nine champion levels. I'm going to stick with that for a bit and we'll meet back up either at the end of this boost or if I decide it's time to move up to 102 whichever comes sooner so i'll see you again shortly for the last part of this video and welcome back um, i'm getting just under eight champion levels per minute um, hit champion level 1400 so we might as well push on a bit now and see what we can get higher levels uh, let's take a first look at 97 just to get a rough idea of how fast we can get through it's not going to do it in a dark cave though On. Bit of an odd shape map this one. Uh, let's just grab everything that's left on here. There's some enemies that are keeping everything else moving quite quickly so I don't mind running on ahead because we should be able to fill up the bar. 
like that. I just click up here you can see combustion is what I'm stacking on this boss until Slayer comes up as it did there which gets us a nice big kill so 117 and we've got 10 champion levels for that makes me think that 102 might be a bit slow still until we've got a little bit more power from our champion levels um, and we get some gemstone selections from that still 10 minute books that's why I want to move on to 102 try and get the ability upgrades moving a bit quicker uh, we'll be guaranteed a one hour book with runs at 102 Can't possibly need more inventory space. There we go. <laughs> uh, confuse that one. I'll worry about sorting those out off camera. Uh, if you're wondering why I haven't fused these trillion sapphires up into brilliance, I've got 900 brilliant. Um, sapphires on the main account I don't need any more but I am building up a hundred stacks of um, teardrop radiant and trillion after I hit the 900 for all the others or 900 brilliance um, let's take a look at 102 this will be the last trial of this video I suspect we're going to be a little bit slow still at this stage. Um, this ain't dragging those enemies along nice and quickly so we can round up a decent sized blob on this map before we take this lot down as we're going to here. Our thing makes us take the long route around that rock which is annoying so I've not run this in the most efficient way it's much better to deal with smaller groups make sure they're wiped out before moving on so with a slayer up death from above did about a quarter of the damage we we'll keep those stacks of combust going We've got talisman of power so I shall cast frost nova this time and 127 and that gets us 12 but we've got two two out two one hour books it's going to be more inefficient for me to run 102 in terms of experience gain but I'm going to get better drops and better books and we're not even three hours in so even if I did four hours experience farming which will take us well beyond champion level 2000 uh, I won't need to be super efficient or going for maximum efficiency so I guess I will farm at 102 to take advantage of those books of learning instead I really want to get these up to level 10, Death From Above and Frost Beam. Um, maybe then 
I want to leave that for overnight really so I shall upgrade Immolate and Frost Nova afterwards um, so for clearing troll 100 three 200% experience boosters, three 200% currency boosters. We've got another two and a half hours worth of experience farming on those, which will get us into the 1900s in terms of champion level. So I'll probably have to buy one or two more experience boosters, or I could make use of the 100% ones, see how time is looking when we get to that stage. Um, but I'm waffling and this video is getting long so I will say as always any questions or comments then put them down below and I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible and thank you very much for watching.